Now that is a tasty <laughs> beverage. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that technical rainbow between us, your boy Trey Proper. It's your boy Big Herb. I'm here too. And, yeah. So now you're going to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Oh, man. How y'all doing today? Thank you again for joining us here at Blurs of Whiskey. Uh, we're still in quarantine, despite what uh, Governor Hogan wants to say. We're never getting <laughs> out. Never getting out. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, this is the way things are now. <laughs> I'm just happy that we can all come together again for another Sunday of uh, whatever this is. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get right on into some things. <laughs> we have a nice show lined up for you today. Uh, but of yeah. course, let's get all wrestling stuff out of the way. Wrestler of the week is Becky Lynch. Well, actually, it's a twofer because you got mm-hmm. Becky and her baby mama, Seth Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the yeah. why and the, the little course. wrestler seed that she's carrying as well. Let's not forget about no, that. So it's a three for him. one. She yeah, is the she man. Is. She is the man. man. <laughs> she's the man of that relationship. If you, go, if you go on WWE shop, they actually have the mom. Uh, there's a t-shirt for it now, so yeah. I need him to wear that. Yeah. I need him to wear that shirt on the show. I need him to wear that. Well, I need well, him to. Well, on, on Twitter, Seth is handling being a father really well, but he didn't handle it really you well. You mean handling being a mother really well? Yeah. What yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's yeah. Man, he tried to blind the guy. He tried to blind yeah. the guy on Monday. And we yeah, he didn't try. Day. He didn't try. He's blind. <laughs> Temporarily, <laughs> maybe, but... <laughs> you mean, you mean he gouged out an eye with literally two drops of blood? That was it? That's all we got? <laughs> oh, no, they, 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 they actually said he, his retina was messed up, but anyway, yeah. It's, 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 uh, oh, right. so it's just, was, did he get his retina messed up when he got thrown off a building the night before? Yeah, that, that was like, wow. Right. Hey, 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 we're, we're, we're getting, we're getting dangerously close. We're getting dangerously close yeah. to, to, to talking badly about kayfabe, okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. so, um, I'm just saying. Jim Corbett hates this conversation. Right. Congratulations wow. to Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and their impending yeah. uh, child out of wedlock. So we're, we're just gonna happy for that. We're going to send Seth Rollins a Mother's Day card. You're welcome. Yes. 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 We should do that. We should start that. Hashtag so, so, happy Seth Mother's Day. So real quick, so Sharita, Sharita, so now that Seth is about to be a mom, is he going to start peeing when he laughs now too? Probably. He's probably going to grow hair on his nipples as well. He's probably going to grow <laughs> hair on his nipples. Hey, look, it's going to have Why would you bring that back up? Why? Why would you bring that back up? The hair, the because hair y'all faces last time was <laughs> the best thing I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. Just like hers face just now that he tried to fix real quick was yeah. the best thing that I've ever seen in my life. So, I ain't yeah. fixed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just not, it's not, it's, it's not good at all. Please, can we please move on from that bad. image? Cause, yeah, it's just because <laughs> Rick's saying, Harry Nipple. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she got Harry Nipples. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing. Oh my god, that was the best thing ever. It was hilarious. Oh man. If you have a chance to go back and watch the clip of the week, watch the clip of the week and pay attention to their faces as I'm talking. Like it was the funniest thing ever. I'll I'll say this. (laughs) Women women go back and watch it. Men stay away from there. Yeah. (laughs) No, don't listen to me. Just watch their faces like real live. Just just do that. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not. I'm I just. I, I, mm. Yeah, okay. it was. It was just. Yeah. So this Moving right along, looking. we were actually talking about how yes, uh, <laughs> Seth Rollins and uh, the man ha- are ha- are expecting at this point, and we want to send a congratulations. It's, it's, it's just. It's we we really want to say congratulations to you guys. Um, it is in the fact that the one thing I did want to say, as far as I keep forgetting dude's name. Uh, what's the dude, uh, Rick? What's the name of the guy that always uh, be going off on the West Coast shit? Uh, he had, he's beefing with um dude that fucked that fucked up the uh, Monday night. Uh, Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette. He uh, called out Becky Lynch because she was pregnant. And yes, this dude's a fucking psychopath. Like he, <laughs> now, you, you got under, you got to understand. Jim Cornette is a crotchety old man who is all about protecting the wrestling business. Like that's his whole thing. He's made his money with that, and he's he's gonna do whatever it takes to protect it. 
So, and Jim mm-hmm. Cornette also feels like the where we're at with wrestling right now is the line between kayfabe and real life is pretty clear. And he that's what I was that. alluding to. Mm-hmm. He hates it so much. Like he th- he he's probably saying that they should have done it some old type of way where they make it a storyline and make Becky Lynch get pregnant by Vince. <laughs> get, get her pregnant by Vince or something like that, and then the, it turns out that the baby is a new championship belt a couple months down the road. Like that's how dumb no, like, Jim Cornette is. No, yeah, I mean he he is very very dedicated to kayfabe, but no, he, yeah. he's he's a dinosaur. He's gone for a reason. Yeah. However, <laughs> congratulations yeah. to Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Uh, but I'm still trying to, to figure out who's the one that's actually pregnant. Is it Seth or is it Becky? It's Have we decided? She the man. She's the man. <laughs> she is the man. Uh, so yeah. So uh, and speaking of, we bring up the fact that I'll meet before we go to the next one, Can we bring up the fact that this is the second Scottish uh, wrestler that he's taken out. Yeah. Because he, he took, he took he, <laughs> you're right. Because he took out, he took out Finn Balor with a with a buckle bomb, and now he's taking out Becky Lynch with a what? A semen bomb. A semen bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! You thought I wasn't gonna do it? I did it anyway. Bazinga! Hey, hey Herb, that was great tag team work. <laughs> I hate you both. That was, that was I hate you game. both. I hate you both. I hate your faces. Some, Shut up. I, no. That was no. Game. No. Hey, I hey. I, I approve this message. I approve it. Oh, man. That was amazing. Good job, guys. Awesome. We the new Lob City in this bitch. <laughs> Y'all just do this to piss me off. That's all you, you just do it to piss me off. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's so, funny. <laughs> oh, man. That is fun, though. It's funny. Cheers to Becky so, and Seth. Cheers to Seth and Becky. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that, is that Speaking of now? tears... <laughs> Speaking of tears, uh, what are we drinking this week, guys? Oh, my God. We are drinking oh. a little bit of right. Belvedere Vodka. I'm I am, I'm going to start off this week. No. Great Goose. Goose. I'm, I'm no. just Great Goose. Goose. Oh, Goose. 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 Shit. Goose. Right. Goose, Goose will get you loose. <laughs> that's Great what we're Yeah, that's, yeah, that's we're what drinking, we're all drinking. Great Goose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're drinking Grey Goose. I got pineapple and vodka because you know, old school shit, old school some slight. I have something similar. I have pineapple and orange that I'm mixing with my Grey Goose. So that's where we are. Yeah, yeah I have <laughs> orange and vodka and uh, Grey Goose. So yeah, you How have you orange and vodka. <laughs> I have Grey Goose and olive juice and. Uh, Dirty Martini mix. I oh. got Dirty Martini. So, so now look who's the fancy one this week, everybody. Yeah, look, yeah, look yeah. at his glass. I know. even got Alex. <laughs> I even got Alex. He is uh, right. Get yeah, dang all right. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you put out that pinky. No, oh, I, I got it. Oh, I he got did. It. Pinky's up there. He definitely did. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> We had. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you freaking said that. <laughs> like we, we, ladies and gentlemen, we we try to plan the show out as best we can, but I can only control it so much. Yeah, but those routinely little special tell these bamas, I routinely oh, tell these bamas what so, not to say on the show, so, and they no, but, and so him. you make us want to say it more when you tell so, us yeah. what not to say. So, it's the Barbara so, Streisand effect. You already know that. Peek, peek yeah. behind the curtain. Peek behind the curtain, everybody. We kind of went over that joke in our group meeting, and Trey was vehement. Don't say that. Don't say that on the air. We're not going to say that joke. And then my man Herb over here, again, with the Gary Pate esque assist that I just had to finish at the room. You know, I mean, when you when you get the perfect lob, you can't not It's like it the alley oop. You got to do right. what you got to do. Right. <laughs> I got, we are I, at a listen, stage. Where we're trying to get people to share the show. I don't want them to share the show. And the first <laughs> thing that somebody's aunt sees 
is somebody saying damn semen bomb, okay? That's the next hey, one. Hey, 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 auntie, get with the times. Get with the times. Everybody oh, has man. a semen bomb in your life. If you're an auntie, you had enough time to experience semen bombs, so you got to do what you got to Hashtag do. semen bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag semen bomb. <laughs> that, that just, that, that. Okay, yeah. So, uh, <sighs> continuing on with our wrestling topics, this week we had, we got to see the Dark Side this time featuring who, Herb? <laughs> the Legion of Doom. Yeah. And what's, what's the other name? Of her? With <laughs> the Road Warriors. Okay. <laughs> just uh, behind uh, the scenes. This time I thought they was two different people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they, you should have seen the. You should have seen the actual group of the group uh, chat. It was. It was actually kind of funny. I mean, yeah. he's like Earl Simmons. Who he ain't got shit on uh, DMX. <laughs> Clifford, Clifford, Clifford Harris. He ain't got shit on. Uh, on Method Man, so yeah, yeah so this, bad. <laughs> this week we watched Dark Side of the Ring. For those of you who don't know, the Legion of Doom, aka the Road Warriors, were two of the most dominant tag team wrestlers during the ni- the eighties and uh, well seventies and eighties. In all honesty, sometime before our time, a little bit. Um, they were the guys who ran around with the big spiky shoulder pads, and yeah. they had a very devastating finisher called <laughs> the Doomsday Device, and. It was like it was such a it's, it's such a bad I mean not, not bad like devastating move realistically holding somebody up on your shoulders and then clotheslining them off. Mystic Man, the owner yeah. of WWE, at one point in time they revealed he wanted to take the actual move in a bar, not in the ring, <laughs> in a bar, not somewhere safe, in a bar, and oh, they, they did they, it. it this with the, type, the uh, spiky shoulder pads. Let's not forget. Yeah. And they had they was inside the bar. What was like what's the name of that little rodeo joint? And it was like, yeah, so I want to go and take the Tuesday device. I can take everybody's finisher. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen. It, I don't know why this story surprises anybody. Vince McMahon is a psychopath. Yes. He has fought yes. several of his wrestlers. Yes. <laughs> he fought Kofi Kingston on an airplane. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Like it, and, and uh, should, Kurt Angle. <laughs> yeah, that that shouldn't be surprising to anybody. somebody. Should have took his kneecaps out by now. Let's just be honest. Like somebody. He told the, 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 the it should have been a whole Sarah Harding <laughs> moment. Remember when she got my girl Nancy Kerrigan was like, Sorry, "Fuck you." Or whatever Sorry. you know what I mean. No, you know the fuck I mean. Come on, you know Come on, Follow Harding. me. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Like is, he is, have is Sarah got taken out by now. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Harding is your nemesis. I don't care. <laughs> he should have been taken you, out Sarah. by now. Oh man, Jesus. take Funny. them Jones out. Oh man, that so, is hilarious. But the most yeah. notable thing that happened, well, a lot of well, some people will know. Oh, who shit. were in the know yeah. that it was it was Animal, correct? So uh, there there was Hawk and Animal, who were the two Legion of Doom members. But mm-hmm. of course, I believe it was it's Animal, right? What's his real name? Hawk. Uh, it was Hawk. No, passed. Hawk, who, yeah. Who, who, yeah. Hawk, Hawk, no. Hawk passed away. Okay, so Hawk is the one that passed away. He was the one that was the, oh, he overdosed, or he had no. a heart attack. I'm sorry. No, he, no, had no, he had a heart attack. Heart attack, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, okay. we did, he, we did. He, but uh, Hawk had, had, had troubles behind the scene as far as with uh, drug use and alcohol abuse. And it wasn't until, I believe it was the Australia trip where uh, Animal was just like, you know what? I, I, after I bring you back home, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. And then eventually, uh, Hawk had cleaned up his life. Uh, he got, he got, uh, he got himself together. Uh, he went Michael Headstream, and um, he, <laughs> he got his life together. Long story short, and uh, unfortunately, in the midst of moving, he actually uh, suffered a heart attack in his sleep. So. Uh, rest in peace to him, and uh, hope and yeah, that was the, for, for, for for those of you who don't know, he did he died of natural causes, which, which is like a heart attack or heart failure. He didn't mm-hmm. die when Draws pushed him off of the Titan Tron, like WWE wants you to believe. 
Wait, yeah. wait oh. that didn't cause a heart attack or heart failure? <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't like a residual like effect. No, no, <laughs> no. That it, the, He had, the, he had, didn't he have hepatitis? Uh, which, which one? He had, which what was the uh, disease that he had that he actually got over? You're not getting it was over. Hepatitis. Well, no, you can't get over hepatitis C now. That's it was true. C. Yeah, he C. had hepatitis C, and, and he cured it basically. Uh, what, what did yeah, he get, was he hanging out with Pamela and Tommy Lee? Oh boy, uh, oh, man. that would be Hep B or A, <laughs> <laughs> not um, C. Nasty. Okay. Nasty. Uh, <laughs> whiskey all over That's the place a today. different Hep. <laughs> yes, we are. We are off the rails. <laughs> Clearly, vodka is not our friend. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely go back to Spike TV and. <laughs> Catch up on that show. It was a really no, good episode. No, that's Spike. That's Spike. It wasn't I mean, Spike. Not it Vice. Was I'm sorry. Vice. 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 My bad. My bad. Spice? Um, did you say no, Spice? I, I did not say Spice. Spice was an old school channel. Ah, uh, no, 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 Anyway, <laughs> go check them out Thursday nights. The next episode, the next episode is the last episode of the season, right? That's the one for yes, our it's, own heart. It's, so it's not yes. the We're looking forward to that. Two, Tuesday at 10 p.m., they're doing the own heart story. Damn, it's um, Thursday. Yeah, it's all good. I got you. That's, that's what I'm here for. I got you. Yeah, Tuesday at 10 p.m. on Vice. Um, uh, they're going to have on hearts, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his widow in it, Martha Hart. Uh, mm. It's a lot of interesting stuff that goes on to the background of this. It ain't just yes. like it doesn't just end with Owen dying. Things get yeah. real, real. Uh, they get real, real strange. So please it, turn it. It, it, it just vinces every everything. Because if you if you've seen the the recurring thing that's been going on this whole entire season, Vince has some form of touch in, into every single thing of it. Vince McMahon is a bad guy. Yeah, Vince yeah. McMahon is the guy. devil. <laughs> Vince McMahon is the devil. Yeah. Such good <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why people try to make Vince seem like he is a good person because he's clearly no. not, and he's been doing everything to show us that he Listen, is not. So, why, do, yeah. why, why do people try to make it seem like his best friend is a good person? Oh, no, yeah, oh, 40, oh 45. Hogan? People try to make it seem like 45 is a good person. Oh yeah, well we know. Yeah, you know yeah. what? No, we're not know, get into that for one. the sake of job security, I'm not commenting on that. Good job. <laughs> but, yeah, I Good mean, job. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> next up, we've got our throwback show of the week. Go ahead, Herb. Take that yeah, one. So we're gonna go into uh, Warner Brothers uh, Vault for a second on this one, and uh, we're gonna check out Freakazoid. Uh, Freakazoid, uh, Dexter Douglas is a superhero who overload with useless information. And uh, that's the best way to form it. <laughs> he is all the in informa internet information. <laughs> Herb's word. <laughs> well, all the info Hey, guys, have you all heard the of the <laughs> That's a new thing that you can use called the informet. Yeah, Herb's word. Put it on the list, EO. <laughs> OCG. <laughs> but... It, it, unfortunately, the show only lasted for two seasons. Uh, it was 24 episodes, um, and Steven Spielberg actually was the exec was one of the uh, producers for it. Um, this was the third one that he actually put together that he helped put together. Uh, one was Animaniacs, the other one was Pinky in the Brain, and this was the third one. Unfortunately, due to first of uh, all, Animaniacs was the shit. Like, yes, like let's just get that Pinky out. Pinky in the way. Brain and Animaniacs <laughs> was the shit. All three, show, all three of the shows. All three of the shows. All three of them were. All of them. But were the unfortunately, same. because of due to ratings, they and I mean, just like uh, Maestro said uh, before the show, if they weren't selling uh, products as far as uh, toys and stuff, they were going to cut you off. And, and that's pretty much what happened. Freakazoid was actually a good show. Uh, just, got, just, just go ahead, Trey. Go ahead, go ahead Trey. I, I was just going to say. So we, it's partially our fault, the reason why these shows got canceled, because as kids, I'm not going to say it's our fault, but the the, the 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 world we lived in when we were kids as 80s, as 80s babies, we bought a lot of toys. We had toys for everything, Ghostbusters, He-Man, Silverhawks, Thundercats, yep. whatever you think. There were toys that were sold out crazy. The kids after us inherited, like my siblings had my toys when I was done with them. There was no reason to buy any more other toys. So, so when we finally got start getting older, we started getting more 
Yeah, it's just uh, so, but anyway. so so I want I want to address something in the comments real quick. Chuck Clark said that Freakazoid was Deadpool before Deadpool. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, because Deadpool came you out. De- Deadpool came out before would... Freak Freakazoid was was G rated Deadpool. Yes, he was. <laughs> that part yeah. is true. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah uh so but yeah it is it was really a good show uh going back as a kid um it, it was it was was there anything you guys wanted to tap on as far as uh what you thought about the show i loved it wait i thought can thought we get was... some people to call in to like give us their feedback are we allowed to do that you know right, uh, this camera guy is going to give phone calls a try we haven't done it in a while yeah we haven't yeah. had a call Which in means, a while let's hey, see if dude, we can do it hey i'm not talking to the people i'm talking to off camera guy you need to be click on that hang up button homie <laughs> do it like i was there because <laughs> you know somebody gonna call in they're gonna say something stupid you you already know but the great <laughs> thing is that you can't hang up on me this time when I say something stupid. So yeah. Oh god. Here go. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> so but uh but I knew I should host the damn meeting. It's gonna be an interesting, you know, convo. Cause I'm gonna be yeah. with the shit. So Y'all already know that. So Yeah, so when but... when are you not? When All are right. you ever not? Guys. Yes. OCG, um, they can hear me now. So I'm going to say it. Uh, uh, finally, yeah. I'm, I'm opening the phone lines. But just keep in mind. Just, uh, yeah, so please. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Just hit us up at 443 371 That's all I want to say. Don't mess up the phone. Y'all are by yourself. Yeah, I'm not doing. I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna do it. I was, I was kind of hoping that Herb was gonna do it at the same time, but he kind of went off. I did, but I yeah, did. we were not at the same time. It was yeah. definitely not at the it same was, time. We, it, we, we, we are so off the, the rails right now. Yeah. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> see, see, see. Oh, Rick and I are like, fuck that. We're not, but up, but but nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But up, but but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're done. You're done. Maybe but, later. We uh, might pick it back but, up later. Uh, but Freak but Joy, uh, favorite uh, favorite moments. Um, damn, it's been so long since I watched it. I actually it, got I, one, but uh, it was it was uh, so they actually had a a point where uh, Freakazoid was actually talking to somebody, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm Steven Spielberg's favorite uh, cartoon." Then Yakko just comes on and says, "Like, uh, no, you're not. You're not." Oh, I, I'm seeing, yeah. And then, and then the brain comes in at the last minute, and they're just sitting there bickering, them all, bickering between each other. <laughs> and it's like, finally, let's go ahead and ask him ourselves. They go up to Steven Spielberg. He says, "Who are you guys?" <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you 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 talking about that just actually made me remember one of my favorite Freakazoid moments. It was something where like he was chasing a villain. And the villain goes down into the sewer. And Freakazoid stops outside of the sewer. And there's people crowd around. They're like, aren't you going to get down there and get after him? And he just goes off on this rant, talking about, I'm not going down there because it smells like poo gas down there. And for the rest of the episode, walking away on poo gas. He's like, it smells like poo gas down there. I'm not going down there. You go down there with the poo gas. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, so. This uh, is really a. Uh, uh, this is a hilarious show. Oh man! Yes, but, uh, man. We're, uh, yeah. let's move on. Okay, right, so, so until okay. then, let's... okay. Mine is the book, let's... but okay. call us. <laughs> right, yeah, just let us open. know when we got somebody. Go in. And, and, and all right, so let's go ahead and get into some. Uh... All right, so while we wait for that, let's go ahead and get into our first hot topic. Uh, there are, well, I don't know if they've been apprehended yet, but the guys from the NFL, DeAndre Barker and Quinson Dunbar. They turned themselves in yesterday. They, yeah. so, okay. Well, so, I feel like so, this is the first time in a, a Redskins and a Giant who are a part of the NFL East have actually hold on, worked hold on, time together. Time out. Time out. Time he's out. not a Redskin anymore. Trading, he won it out. He is a Seahawk. He won it out. He is a Seahawk. He was traded a few weeks ago. So yeah. let, let me give everybody a quick rundown on it. Hey. DeAndre, go ahead, Rick. Go ahead, Rick. <laughs> DeAndre, DeAndre, DeAndre Buda Baker, who was just oh, drafted in the first round by the New York phone. Giants. 
in 2019. Um, he's the cornerback for the New York Giants. And Quentin Dunbar, who was a former Redskins cornerback who was traded to the Seattle Seahawks. Former. Like just saying, former. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, I'm they, saying it's for the people. <laughs> so apparently they were they were doing a lot of gambling in Florida a couple of weeks ago. And uh, one day they lost $70,000. So then the next day they go back to a card game again and decided that they were just going to rob everybody at the next card game. Uh, things got a little out of it. was those two and another guy. Things got a little out of hand because somebody came into the card game late and DeAndre Baker told the third guy to shoot this person. Fortunately, nobody was shot. But then they had their cars, which were – they had three cars. These are these are three cars that if you're going to rob somebody, you don't rob somebody with these three cars. A Lamborghini, a Mercedes, and a BMW. They hop into oh, their cars okay. and it's like Smokey and the Bandit. So yeah, they t- they turned themselves into police the other day. Apparently, Quentin Dunbar's lawyer said that Quentin didn't have anything to do with the robberies. Bullshit. DeAndre, DeAndre Baker's lawyer said the same thing. Bullshit. And they, apparently, they got Whoa, so testimony. nobody is associated with nothing now. Right, yeah, right. So yeah. it's just like, okay. oh, it's just it's these warrants out for y'all arrest, which I ain't have nothing to do with. It. All right, cool. So that's what that's about. Yeah, so, um, and and let me just add on to this because as a Redskin fan, I am petty. We all know how petty I get with my Redskins. Okay. He was being a dick the whole entire time. Uh, but I trade me or resign me, and you know what? Hug, hug, He's hug gone. Hug her. Hug Can her. we do a proper poll? A proper poll to see who is actually still a Redskins fan? Like real, real, real quick. Left. Real, so real quick, her I, I, as a as a as a fellow Redskins supporter, I'm not going to say fan because I'm not a fanatic. I'm not fanatical about anything. I'll say this: you got to kind of hold yourself, my guy, because we just had a wide receiver arrested in Colorado for assault and brandishing a weapon. You know what? So. You know what? This all means, you know what this all says to me? We need sports back because these niggas ain't got nothing to do better than, than do stupid stuff. How well, do you make upwards upwards of $500,000 a year or $100,000 a year? You out here assaulting battery, robbing, just, just I, because, because we need sports back. <laughs> I hate I hate to say it this way, but wait, but you he, haven't watched sports though. The street. You haven't even watched sports for like a year. No, I think, no, Trey, I I think Trey is talking. I think Trey is talking about because talking they got idle hands in general. general. Because because oh, athletes, yes. athletes, athletes, athletes are getting okay. idle hands. Okay. I'm not saying so. I can watch it. And honestly, honestly, like I mean, and then there was another. There's a Buffalo Bills defensive tackle who just got drafted. He was arrested yesterday for DWI and carrying a, a unregistered firearm. But yeah, like I mean. They need the structure. I'm glad that the the NBA uh, places are about to open back up and the NFL is about to open up all of their facilities, uh, pending testing, of course. But yeah, like these guys get idle hands. They sit around. You got all of this money. You, you've been told since you were a little kid how great you are and all that stuff. You get this sense of entitlement. Trey's eating on camera again. And then you just, you just, you just start getting bored. Like, they get bored. They have all of this money. And you start to feel like you're a little bit untouchable. Like, your yeah. your grasp with regular reality tends to leave away from you, especially if you don't have a strong system behind you or a strong team. And so exactly. you're like, hey, stupid. Right, right, Cut right. the shit. Huh, you so, need yourself a Rick or OCG. Like I said in prior episodes, we need an OCG if one of us ever gets that big. Hopefully, bro, as a team, we become the greatest, when, big, biggest. Oh, when we when. become the biggest one, uh, the biggest podcast ever, we all have a support system. Everybody is is held is held holding other others in this camp accountable. If you do don't you know have what my yourself, mama would do to me. <laughs> Look, and we're all thirty five, okay? Nah, hold on, real, real quick, Trey. I'm gonna, Trey. I'm gonna I'm 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 take what you about to say, and I'm gonna run with it a little bit. The way that our family is set up, I ain't doing nothing. Like when, when we get to that status, my ass gonna be in the house, and we be trying to go. No, nope. <laughs> hey, you, you better make that money. <laughs> like your you house is the money. safest way to be. But like Trey said, if you get in a check or a bag. Hey man, I might have to make an appearance real quick. <laughs> nah. Yeah, but I mean, I'm we just, just talk about it in, in like. Listen, hey, and listen. The, that's they, gonna they, be they, the end they, of it. They showed they showed you the way a few years ago at Coachella. I'm sending Rick holograms to everything. That's my appearance. <laughs> 
Yeah, it, it, it's but, just gonna show up like like Palpatine's Vader and just be standing there and yeah. No, okay. no this this gonna be the part that's right. really gonna fuck people up. It's gonna have Tupac's voice and start singing a Tupac song, but it looks like me. Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Right, and with trailer. No. Uh, spe- but <sighs> moving moving forward to the next thing. Uh, speaking of uh, them going back to play football or basketball, whatever have you, staying out of trouble, Maryland is uh reopened no nope. like open open nope. or like partially open so we're so, we're, we're partially <laughs> open but we are partially we opened here in maryland for those not of you who may not be local, county we, we we're, we're definitely well we are all the essential workers so we was already open anyway so um, so so here's the yeah. thing they they, right. they opened they opened up all of the counties except for what well, they partially began reopening all the counties except for PG and Montgomery County. And then Charles County, which is basically Waldorf, they say they don't, they because they knew everybody from PG County was going to go right to Waldorf. Basically <laughs> move to Waldorf, right. Or they, they, yeah. decided to Waldorf. They, they decided that they wanted to have theirs pushed back, so they won't be open. They won't begin partially opening until May 29th. So, Operation, get behind the dock is. Yeah, so, so basically with that being said, Everybody go to Howard County and cough and sneeze as much as possible. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Guys. No, <laughs> don't do no, that. no. Because then they're going to come back. County, FYI, Howard County, there's a small section of Laurel that is in Howard County, in case y'all yeah. didn't know. Yeah, so, oh, I know. You know, just go to Laurel. You know, no, it's all good. No. Hey, stay, hey, on a bright note, stay on a bright note, in the house. Go to Anne Arundel County. Arundel no. Mills is open. Stay now. in the house. You can go there too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say yes. Ladies now. and gentlemen, no, stay in go the house. there because then you'll get it, and then I'll be like, oh, "Okay, thank you. I learned through you. I appreciate no, you." No, do not be hold on, Do <laughs> not be the guinea pigs in this. Please, yes, people, be the do the right pig. thing yes. and stay inside the house. No, no, be, be safe. the guinea pigs for me. Mama, you don't even <laughs> live in. My- <laughs> I have family there. Doesn't matter. This, anyway, this is the message from Scottie Swim Media. Stay in the house. County, Just stay in the house. So it doesn't make it doesn't matter where I live now, where I'm from. So I'm always going to care. Always. But everybody go ahead stay and be in the house. Picks. Moving on to uh, uh, moving, on, moving on to our bad next reader. topic. Bad reader. <laughs> moving on to our <laughs> next <laughs> topic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, Free will. We've kind of we've kind of been moving from the blurred portion of our show, so let's go ahead and bring a little bit more nerdiness back in. Yeah, uh, like, our like homie Chuck said, this Mr. is the relax old vision. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. uh, homie Mr. Petty has got our character of the week. Yeah. Yes, character of the week. Character of the Week. Today's Character of the Week needs no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. The Jade Giant. The uh, Gamma Radiated Destroyer. The World Breaker. The Maestro. A DJ slash producer from Atlanta. The owner of the world are just pythons, brother. No, wait, that's, that's totally wrong. Well, anyway, it's the Incredible Hulk. He is one of Stan Lee's early creations, um, especially of the flawed hero variety, Jekyll and Hyde type um, duality going on. He was also part of a hot topic issue such as toxic waste and radiation and things like that that was scary amongst uh, uh, Americans. However, uh, Stan Lee took that fear and hot topic propaganda and turned it into a prophet. So then he came up with the Incredible Hulk. Originally, he was a, a scientist named Bruce Banner. Some child got on across the uh, testing field didn't unknowingly. He tried to get him away, save his life, ended up getting caught in a blast. And then he ended up becoming like, whenever he got angry or agitated or adrenaline would pump, he would then become a raging monster. That raging monster would later be known as the Incredible Hulk. All he really wanted to be was left alone. I would probably say he's one of the first anti-heroes, if you think about it. Um, he was definitely hunted and persecuted and mis- uh, mistook for a rampaging monster when in actuality he just wanted to be left alone and was a hero. Now, he doesn't really have a power limit. His pretty much his powers are strength and that's pretty much it. Um, everything that he does or his abilities is due to his strength. Doesn't have a limit to his anger. Therefore, he doesn't have a power 
the limit. One of my favorite stories, hands down, has always been um, World War Hulk. Part of his duality is Bruce Banner um, fears and hates what the Hulk is. He's been seeking cures for him since like the get-go. And then in the late 80s, early 90s, they started getting along in a way. Hulk was no longer a mindless brute. He actually was a well thought out and intelligent cre speaking creature. I guess the one time where they were both on the same accord was also like the previous story I mentioned, World War Hulk, where they formed a tight bond and realized that they both hated all the Marvel heroes that betrayed him. His villains, are, I wouldn't consider them rivals because they don't really fight him often like over and over again, except maybe the Abomination. But for the most part, I would definitely say his two biggest back-to-back -back rivals, The Thing from Fantastic Four and Wolverine from the X-Men. And maybe Doomsday. In fact, he even has a drink named after him. All right, back to you guys. Hey, right. hey, I love the Hulk. He's, he's amazing. Yes, Chuck, he is immortal. Looking at the comments. Yeah. Um, you know what's not immortal? Cam's beard. <laughs> 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 that show. Like, dude, uh, you can see it's trying to come back. It's trying, it's scratching. Like, please it, don't it, cut it, us it, ever again. It, it's, it's with the uh, beard struggle uh, as the, our new uh, sponsor. Yes, uh, Cam is actually growing in, so let's give him a round of applause for that one. That beard coming I mean, yeah, I'm not clapping for that. I'm not Hold clapping for that. As, no, as, as brothers, <laughs> as the brotherhood of beard struggle, we're here to encourage your beards. So, yes, so we have to encourage them, be, them small little beards growing back. So, good job, Cam. I, I mean, yeah, he, he's got us, but he's starting over. So, I mean, yeah, keep using the beer struggle. You know, the, I mean, don't ever, don't ever cut it again, homie. Don't do that. Never, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. One of us. Good. Good. But yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, be, be sure to go on, uh, on, I'm sorry. Um, what's the name of the, the beer bird, struggle? Bird, the beer struggle, the beer struggle as I'm struggling along with my words right here. So, yes, be sure to go ahead and go on the Beard Struggle right now. You can go and type in the promo code Blurred, Blurreds1 and get 15% off all your products. So, yeah, be sure to go on the Beard Struggle and go ahead and get your products. This is Blurreds and Whiskey right here. Yes. So, yeah. And we guarantee uh, you won't have just 15% of your beard showing like Cam. So, yeah. go ahead and uh, <laughs> use that, that promo code Blurs1. <laughs> oh, man. You, you, you know he's about to say that. He oh, I know. I know. I'm, he about to come at you real hard. I want the smoke. I want the smoke. Let's do this. Um, he wants the beard. <laughs> it wasn't me this time, Cam. It wasn't me. Oh, I was oh, going man, in. I saw, the, I saw it. I was like, oh, it's starting to come back in. It's only at 15%, like your promo code. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. man. Oh, so yeah. so so which is so he should, so Cam should invest in the scruff bomb for, for restarting yes. his beard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. I um I ordered I ordered the uh the Freya's uh I forgot the name. It's uh that the fragrance that I that I got for the beard oil that I'm using is uh this they got a lot of names that are like Norse Norse mythology related because you know they're yeah. We're brand Vikings, and yeah. I chose the Freya one, which is really good. I'm getting pretty good reviews out of that. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so besides that, we so got. The, so hold on, real quick, real quick. Our character of the week was the Incredible Hulk. Can we talk about why we chose the Incredible Hulk for our character of the week this week? Because somebody feels like we should be drinking like we're still in college. Who I, me? I don't understand. Yes, you. Yes. I didn't even do so, nothing. So, so a little bit of back, a little bit of background, everybody. <laughs> a little, little bit of background, everybody. We tr we we try to decide weekly on what we're going to drink, what 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 we what are we going to have because we like to have uniformity. We like to try to be professional, even though it doesn't look like it sometimes. Hmm. And then we're throwing our suggestions. And uh, Miss Lady here to my bottom right decided that oh I don't know maybe we should have Incredible Hulks. Yes, because it's like a throwback to one of the most powerful characters in the MCU. So, yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, but you do realize what what that drink does to people, right? Yeah, 
Yes. Children have been made. Lives have been saved and lost. I I, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to have too many more changes to my life right now because of a drink, okay? Okay, okay but uh, listen, for those of you I, who don't know, the Incredible Hulk drink is a combination of Hennessy. I mean, is it, it no, is it Hennessy? It's, yeah, it's, it's Hennessy it's, and it's, Hypnotic. Yeah. But Grey Goose is good, too, because the Goose will get you loose. That's why we drink yeah. the Grey Goose. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, that real, was, I, settled, sort of I honestly settled yeah. for it. It's, like it's we should have no, did the we should have did the Incredible Hulk's for real. We we yeah. should yeah. you know what we shouldn't have. Let, 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 let's, let me give you a no. Little, we should little, have. Here's here's a little story as to why we shouldn't drink Incredible Hulk's. Right. So let's flash back to oh, about 2004 oh, when when I was a young <laughs> a young college. No no no. Actually, it's a little bit further back than that. When I was in college, right. We decided that we were going to go to this house party at the Q House downtown in, in D.C. Because oh, I, I, went, I went to Howard <laughs> University, for those of you who don't know, right? So, I w- and at this point, I was a lot bigger than what I am now. When I was in college, I was wider, which is incredible. And so, we, <laughs> we, we were drinking Incredible Hawks. I think I had at least three three glasses Oh, they didn't have the Omega oil? Because you know how they feel about the oil in the cube. No, 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 no. This is, I'm talking about pre-gaming before we went to the party, right? Oh, okay. So, bam, we go to the party and I'm in, I can feel myself getting into this mood, right? And it's not a good mood. I'm just there. So we get to the party. I'm standing on the wall. I'm standing next to my, my, my roommate. My roommate, he's sitting there dancing. I'm just hanging out. And I didn't realize that I was leaning on the wall up against a light switch. Right, and so of course the room is all dark. Everybody just partying and dancing. I lean back and I turn the light switch on. Oh, okay. and I was like, oh, and everybody like, oh, I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. But so then somebody said something. They were getting real smart. So me being me back then, who, again, I'm bigger than everybody. I really didn't care. I hit the light switch again. So the DJ gets on the microphone and he goes, who the who the hell keep turning the lights on, man? What you doing? And then my ignorant ass, I turned around and I go, I'm turning on the motherfucking lights. What you gonna do about it? And he looked at me. <laughs> he, looked at his, he looked at his DJ equipment and he looked at me again. And I'm standing there looking at I'm just like, I'm just like, just say something. Cause I had a chair in my hand. And as soon as he said anything else, I was gonna throw it right across the room. Oh, he bone, he was about to bone knock the whole situation. <laughs> so he, he, he just, and he just said, Yeah, can you can, can you turn the lights back off? And I was like, Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah like that's that's why we don't need to be drinking incredible hearts because i don't need to be in here just raging out breaking shit for no reason okay you know so, okay. you know when we, i heard listen. that story before and it gets better every time i hear it so you know this is what i'll say <laughs> I, I've heard it before, but this is what I'll say. We will drink Incredible Hawks when they make another Incredible Hawk movie. When we can have something related to that, we will drink but it on the show. Oh, I haven't bought him. So technically, well, it's got to be something bigger than that. It's got to be something bigger. Than yeah, that. yeah. But, but uh, I, I, I have a story that uh, in OCG, I gave you the uh, the pictures for it, and this is the first time that everybody is going to see this. Uh, so, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I need to see it. it. It was it was five years ago, come uh, September, and um, yeah. So I was getting married. This is uh, my bachelor party. Um, Trey was supposed to show up, but I don't know. He may have had some other engagement showing up. But anyway, uh, so yeah. basically you ain't come. Yeah, he just didn't show up. Yeah. So, but uh, so yeah, it wasn't I'm incredible. I'm glad I didn't come, considering they had to carry your ass out of the limousine. Yeah, so, yeah, like so, so yeah, we had we had us a party bus, and um, so I had way too much to drink. My father told me, because he was my best man, he said, my job is to get you so shit-faced that I asked you later on, hey, are you sure you want to get married? And if you say yes, then we're good. If you say no, then I have to hide you out of the state. So he goes ahead and he gets me drunk, but I, I get so drunk to the point that where I pass out in the middle of the uh, of the bus while they're dropping us off. And apparently, my homeboy buddy middle? told me, yeah, "Yeah, in the middle of the bus." It was, so that Bama was in the aisle. Yeah, I was in the aisle. And apparently, I just want to make boy, sure I heard right. That's yes, that, that, exactly. It was in the middle of it. 
So apparently my homeboy uh, buddy goes ahead and tells me, he gives me a full cup, a full red cup of crown apple and says, I say, I say give me some more, give me some more, give me some more. And I chug oh, the whole cup. <laughs> now, if I could uh, find the video of it, it's really bad. I'm not going to get we, it out we, to everybody. No, I'm not going to no, get it out to everybody. Never. I'm just, I'm talking about us, just us, us as blurs and whiskey. Um, I don't yeah, think I want to see you that drunk, Herb. No, 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 it was, it was bad. I want to see it. It was bad. <laughs> I mean, to the point to where cousin, it was like, they were, as your cousin, <laughs> I want to see it. And, it, and it, it was so bad that my uncle had to stop everybody. He was like, no, I, I got, I think you guys really need to strategize this moment right here because <laughs> he's, he's 400. We have it, it, it take, it's four of here. It is right here. The picture's up here. It, it was oh, that bad. Dear oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, dear God. My, my, my uncle, my other uncle is there trying to hold me up, and I just started spewing. Spewing so bad to the point to where it's like, fuck, this is my brand new shirt. <laughs> By the way, I you, also, I got some you shit. You wanted to post these? I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. at least he Drunk said, sales. man, incredible hopes had the huh. army crawling through fields and showering with my clothes on. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, since we're talking about drunk Damn. sales, this is the ultimate one because apparently my brother-in-law told me that I took my glasses off and threw them on the other side of the bus. I woke up with no Damn. glasses. My uncle that I threw up on, I said, hey, Are have you seen trying my to carry you right? See, this yeah. is why I ain't go. Because yeah. like I was not picking you up. <laughs> Yo. Herb, yeah. dead weight? Nah, homie. No, <laughs> no, Chuck, I, no that, that's not uh, P. That's throw up. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's everywhere. <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right. Okay. So, yeah, oh, my was, God. Yeah, it I was bad. I, I don't. I can't believe you put this on the show. I just really. Yeah. Jamaica like, yeah. said, "Hope I can't believe she's smash. She's right." Yeah, and <laughs> it, was, it was that bad. It was that oh, bad. Oh, it was that, that bad. Looking like bad. looking like weekend at Bernie's. At Bernie's, <laughs> man. But, but you know what? I, I, is this, that so, your? This, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, and this is prime example why you do, not, and that's Buddy right there. This is prime example why you do not get married the day after a bachelor or bachelorette party. Well, you should have did it like the no, week before. Well, I didn't do it the week before, but I'm saying never do a bachelor or bachelorette party the week before, the, uh, the day before your wedding. Because this type of shit will happen. And, you got uh, it. You were yeah, dead. I don't know. I don't yeah, know how you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Shit of these oh, pictures. no, there was no responsible drinking. <laughs> My father said, exact, this is the verbatim. He said, I want to get you so shit faced that I asked you, do you still want to do this? Wait, and I has said, Lonnie <laughs> seen these pictures? Or yes. is she just now well, seen she's seen them she now? Was, she was, <laughs> she's seen them the day after and hysterically was laughing. So I'm mean, yeah, because so, I'm judging you. I'm judging yeah. the shit out of you. If I ever, if if <laughs> and I ever get married and have get, get have a bachelor, you are not allowed to give me that much alcohol. Nah. Wait, Anytime I'm, black, I'm not, pro- I'm not promising Any anything. Trey, I'm not Any promising Trey. anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, Trey. You already know. How, how uh, me and mine get mm, down for basketball. Uh, I'm saying that, and you know what? <laughs> That's why I ain't been back to another one because there's no pictures of me floating around. Oh, hold on, uh, hold on. So, yeah. There is, there is there a video. Might be. I just won't post it. That's a good ass friend. Trey knows exactly what I'm talking about. There is a video. <laughs> you, there is better. a video. You had better be fuck not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying this as far as this is concerned because apparently my homeboy John touched on and said I have major plumber's crap and I'm trying to fix all the cracks and crevices with this whole entire Phoenix bit that we're about to move into. You like that transition? Why is your shirt so small? The shirt is small as shit. Perfect, <laughs> perfect transition. Perfect transition. But, yes, but if you, if I, you're, fe- I, I got it. I got it. I got go, it. Go. If, go. if if you're if you're feeling like you got the plumber's crack situation going on, or if you feel like your shirt is too small, and then the why front. don't you go ahead and visit? Oh shit! 
why don't you go ahead and visit one of our other newest sponsors, Phoenix Fit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I can't stand you. Yo, Phoenix <sighs> Fit. I've been taking it. I, I just got mine at the beginning of last week. I mean, I have the uh, the the black cherry pre workout, and I actually take it before Me I go to work. Too. Deliver the package. I have it too. The black yeah. cherry. Mine's, mine's in the kitchen. Right. I, I got the Hawaiian blast. Wait, and, yeah. can you see it? So, Yo, it it had me amped. It had me amped. Hold on, hold on. Like I was, no, I was I knocking this, out. I tell you this because I put the promo. I put the uh, promo video out the other day. So. The other day, I had the best workout I've had in about a year, probably a year and a half. And I took the pre-mix. It was the Hawaiian uh, Blast that we that I bought. I went and took that. I worked out, and I had to go to work right after. I had so much energy. If you could see me, I'm sitting there just going through the whole entire motions of making this video. But at the same time, I'm just sitting there like, yeah, I'm still jacked. I still feel like I got more energy to burn. I'm telling you, this product works. I also been taking the. Uh, I, I keep messing up the how to pronounce it. Is it whey? Yes, it's whey protein. The whey, the whey, the whey protein mix. It tastes really good. I got the cho- uh, chocolate mint. That tastes really good. I have been, like I said, over the last, uh, the last, uh, last week. Uh, my first week, I lost seven pounds. This week, I weighed myself. This morning. I lost another five pounds. I'm currently at that's what's up. 18. Good job. I'm dropping this shit like it's butter. I'm telling you, I, I, I've I've been eating the right way, and I'm telling you, don't don't just drop it the like butter it's butter. And then drop, I'm dropping all the weight off like it's butter. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> but I, I've been dropping. The I knew what he meant. Is, yeah, I, you I know what I mean. Thank- stuff a couple of times like it was butter. But wow. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's go. Keep going. <laughs> so so. <laughs> So, so, so <laughs> go ahead, Rick. Go ahead. So, click the link in the description. So, I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep us on the rails here. Click the link in the description. Use the promo code FNXBLURDS13. That's F N X B L E R D S 1 3 to get 15% off your purchases at phoenixfit.com. Yes. Go out yes. there and start your own fitness journey. Start melting the pounds off like butter or whatever the hell these two screws And it's not about. just for the guys. No, it, it, hashtag, if you are hashtag looking for grab it like butter. <laughs> if you are looking for your 1999 cash money kneecaps, get it. Like, get you that Phoenix uh, collagen protein. It's going to help your caps come back to life. Get some of that CBD wow. oil. You know, we're going to stop chair twerking in 2000. We will actually twerk for real. So let's just get our kneecaps rehabilitated and we Here's got it, me. ladies. We're here. We're yeah, here. So because she can't, she can't stand up and do it anymore. So now she, I got she, a chair because tra- my kneecaps not strong enough. The way, the, the way her knees are set up is, is not, is not the same anymore. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my Sierra. If you guys can't tell, I've stopped giving up. Try- I've given up trying to control the show. So I'm just, I'm just fucking with them at this point. <laughs> but, but chair yeah, twerking. But, but yeah, it's because they not strong. Chair twerking. But when your knees not strong, you got to do what you can. And the chairs where you can. But see, I'm trying to get my Sierra back in the day, my old, my ludicrous on top of the car. You know, you, I'm trying to get them knee I know what back. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, see, ludicrous wasn't on top collagen, of the car. He was just standing on the side you of that, it, you know. Get you that collagen. But Sierra was on top of the car. You messed yeah. up oh, my she was on top of it. Yeah, we remember that one. On top we we like coming back on with strong things. ass kneecaps in 2020. Okay. Oh my god. Speaking of ludicrous. <laughs> well, yeah, speaking, speaking of ludicrous. Of ludicrous uh, so, and your ludicrous antics. Did anybody <laughs> see versus last night with uh, Nelly yes. and Ludicrous? You mean Listen. where Nelly lost? Is uh, that what you mean? N- n- Nelly, <laughs> Nelly, Nelly clearly lost in more ways than one. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, we wait, wait. We don't know that. Let's connect- let's oh, he, put up a problem poll. Let's see what, lost, what the people say. He lost Bruh. connection. He lost the Bruh. audience. He lost. <laughs> he, lo- he lost because Ludacris came out all hype. He had his hair picked. He had his false jersey on. And then towards the end, he was just looking at Nelly like this, like a concerned parent that still wanted to cheer on their child. Like, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do your yes, best. Sir. Do your best. <laughs> Looking like a concerned parent. You're absolutely right. The, 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 and I mean, and and the, but the one thing about yesterday, and let's let's give Nelly credit over his career because he had put out he did. The, uh, the the sweat the was it the suit and sweat album when Diamond 
Uh, he has classics. So you want to put your feet on yeah. the rug. Yeah, but sorry, he has a whole sorry. bunch of hits. <laughs> but at the same time, <laughs> he had this hits versus I forgot battle about. was just, it's, he played songs that we were like, uh, bruh, what, what, what is this? are you talking about? He, he, pl- he played, it was like, it was so ludicrous. It was like ludicrous had an album list, you know what I mean? Like they compiled the list of things and he played like the right hits. And it's almost like, I know he's a lot of times he was saying he was responding to what Nelly was playing, but like it, it seemed like he had a set list and you could tell his radio right. background the way that he was playing his songs. Yeah, Nelly, yeah. ludicrous is Nelly- clearly more prepared. Nelly, Nelly, Nelly looked like, yo, I'm drunk and I'm going to play the shit that I want to hear. And y'all niggas ain't never heard these songs before, but guess what? And I'm going to just dance in the background of my own shit. He he literally said that at once. It was a point in there where Ludacris was like, you know what, let's go and play some stadium music. He played the All I Do Is Win joint. And then as soon as uh, Nelly said, yeah, I got some stadium music for you too. He played some music that was like some R and B type shit that we were literally yeah. like, "Bro, what are you? No, what are you doing?" Just I no. mean, realistically, who? Why was this even a thing? Because there's no comparison between Nelly the two, made in my opinion. Thing. Yeah, so so Nelly was the one that contacted Swiss Beats about he wanted to go head up a ludicrous. Like Nelly was the one that initiated the whole thing. Um, and I mean, it, it, I, I get like in the grand scheme. So the thing about it is, Nelly has way more hits that he could have played. But he just, yeah. He, it it just seemed like with with it the did. storms, because for because there were storms going on in St. Louis, and his that's why they say his internet was messing up or whatever. Uh, but it just it just seemed like he was just like, yo, I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff, and 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 Ludacris just just came. I was just like, nah, I got this catalog, and I'm yeah. hit, I'm I'm just going to hit it. You know, what I'm I mean? just going to hit play, which is all yeah. he had to do. Yeah, so, I mean, but my thing is, uh, like, in comparison between the two, I'm not, I am not by for all the Nelly fans that may be out there, I'm not by any means saying that Nelly does not have hits. He has hits, but he ain't got Luda hits. Mm, there's mm, no, there, there was to yeah. be no, I huh. can't even think of who huh. should be. Huh. It's, it's like Nelly has hits that's actually really good. You have, like, uh, what's the hit? His that he features had Nelly? are better. He, Nelly's yeah, his, features yeah. are better than he his has, actual exactly, songs, exactly. if you ask me. And he has he has hits that he's on. He has hits that's actually his. It's just that, dude, you're playing songs that we ain't re- like the crowd. You didn't feel the crowd. Like I mean, you you well, you can't feel the crowd. They're all. I mean, you, you know, you shut shut up, Trey. You know Trey, what I'm man. About. <laughs> Trey, man, don't come for us if you're gonna do it yourself. Okay, yeah. that's all I'm gonna say. Hey, Sharda. Yeah. But but <laughs> but, it, it, but as far as what I'm saying is this. It, he was he's not a obviously he's not a DJ. So I mean, but it's just to the point to where it's like D because Luda actually was a DJ before he became an actual uh rap artist. So his he radio knows name the, was he, Chris Lover Lover. Exactly. So I mean it's like <laughs> he knows the tunes that okay, this one's gonna get uh, Southern Hospitality. You got uh what's his name? Move bitch. You got uh what's his name? Uh uh yeah, you got all these hits. Waterfalls. Back, waterfalls. Oh, I mean period. Hey, real, yeah. real quick, real quick, just, just a quick aside, real quick. Ludacris was teasing this last night. I don't know too many people was paying attention, but uh, 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 Ludacris, uh, Usher, and Lil John collab. They're trying to get that started again. They're trying to get that album out. Yeah, I'm, telling y'all I'm for that. Now, I'm for that. That sex beat. I'm willing yeah. to do something strange for a piece of change. Okay, okay so uh, yeah, so let's, let's, yeah, so we're gonna anyway. go ahead and wrap up everything <laughs> now. <laughs> But uh, clearly, we found another alcohol that we can't drink on the show anymore. Yeah, so, I mean, well, <laughs> vodka no, goes no. right to trash. Goose vodka. will get you loose, huh? <laughs> yeah, that 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 goose. Wow, I'm not alone. You still, in you still, you know, that, as a matter of fact, Who that's the name of the show. That, strange that's, for a piece of change. That's, that's, don't do that. Don't do that. Your <laughs> inbox will be filled up by the end of the day. Keep exactly. playing around. I'm the name I'm of the show to the ladies, today. though. I'm talking to the ladies, not, not yeah. the guys. Yeah, and they, they will they will be flooding your inbox as well. So just so stop. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, pay no attention to the thirst trap. Bad reader. Bad <laughs> reader. Bad reader. <laughs> so, but yes, uh, so let's let's wrap up this uh this whole entire thing. Um guys, I want to point this out. Oh, before we before I get into this. Guys, there's two episodes, there's uh, two last episodes of The Last Dance is coming on tonight. 
which is the uh, the Chicago Bulls' last championship. It's a phenomenal uh, series. If you have not been watching it on ESPN, uh, all of us has been wa- uh, watching it. It's a phenomenal show. Let's keep on watching it. And also because this is we all PG County products, products of PG County. Um, they have a show on show, a documentary on Showtime called uh, Basketball County, something in the water. It's a, uh, oh, has Kevin. Yeah, no, they, oh, yeah, we're all PG County. DMV. So yeah, they have, if you if you look back at all the people who came out of PG County that actually played basketball because this is the new mecca of basketball. You got Kevin Durant, you got uh, Steve Francis, you got a whole bunch of there's too many to name right the second. Go and peep it out. It's on Showtime. It's a great watch. Go and check it out. We're going to talk about that next week along with the Last Dance. But before we end this show, I have oh, wait, to wait, 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 wait. Luda, Chuck said Luda needed this win to help everyone forget about John Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That's fair and you can't forget about what you ain't never watched, homie. I refuse to watch that. I, I didn't actually watch point. it either, so I, yeah. It, it, it comes across Bridges, my Netflix every day, and I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. I, w- Bridges, I wish we, I would, I you know what? I need Netflix. I need Netflix to make it so that I can delete stuff that I never get to see again. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. It's that uh, simple. Yeah. So, but uh, but guys, we some people in our fan page. So we got to clap it up to each and every one of y'all on the fan page. So thanks, to, thank thanks you big on that one. We really Subscribe appreciate to the it. Now. Uh, so, to the yeah, so move all yes. that, all those to the YouTube and page, the actual please. Blurs and Whiskey podcast. That too. yes. So just <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all social media platforms. That includes YouTube. So just, all it takes is just a click and hit the bell. So yeah. Click, also click, go no. on <laughs> on uh, blurzandwhiskey.com. Go and get your merch. We got the new merch. Choose select your host. Well, let me just yeah, there it goes right there. Select your host. We got the new product out, man. We got everything that you could ever ask for on this site. Prior episodes, merch. Uh, what's the name? You can go ahead and check out uh, in the description down below. Go ahead and go and check out Phoenix Fit. Go and te- check out the uh, Blur Struggle. Uh, we got the uh, what's the beard, name? The promo codes in beard, there. I'm sorry, beard. beard Struggle. I apologize. The Beard Struggle. Uh, Herb's word. But yeah, so <laughs> check us out on prior episodes. We love you guys as always. Up to it, down to it. Fuck those who don't do it. We do it because we used to it. Used to it. Drink, drink, motherfucker, drink. drink. Thanks, guys. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and that Technicolor rainbow in between, it's your boy Trey Proper. It's your boy Big Herb. And thank Thank you for for watching Blurs Blurs and Whiskey. Be sure to like, share, subscribe on all social media platforms. And check us out on BlursandWhiskey.com. Be sure to get that merch. And come take this shot.